So when we're looking at Sankaku and having an effective one, the most important thing is to start. Because if we can get our legs inside, we can open up our partner and we get everything in nice and tight, the finish to any version you want to do should be relatively simple. So to start here, I'm going to start behind my partner. I'm going to go fingers in, palm up. Right, so I don't want to reach over. I want to start here, fingers inside. Okay, and then I'm going to put my foot on his thigh. So what I'm doing on the far side here is my foot is going here. Let's turn around together. Turn all the way around. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. There we go. So we're going to go four fingers in, and then my foot is going to hit right on the thigh. Four fingers, foot goes on thigh so that I can reach the back of the neck. If you want, you can start with the back of the neck, keep his head down, and then put your foot on the thigh. We're going to jump around so that I have a stop here. Okay? I want to be blocking it. I want pressure. That way, when I pull him forward, he opens up and my foot can snake inside his thigh and also behind this elbow. So pull your elbow back, Eli. There. So I can hook his elbow with my foot. I don't want to be inside his thigh and have his arm come through. I want to make sure that my foot is in that middle ground where I'm inside his thigh, but also catching that elbow. So we're going to start from the back. We're going to approach from behind. I got the belt. My foot goes on the thigh. I grab the back. I open him up. That foot transitions toes first, and then my heel rotates in as I jam my knee in and I make a connection. Open up your hands. I make a connection between my foot and my knee. Okay. Now the big problem a lot of people have from this position, they say, well, I can't make a connection. It's because if you come up to the lat, no, keep your arm up. If you come up to the lat, right, where I have all of this space in his arm, I can't make a connection. If I come to his armpit, now I make a connection, no problem. So even me, if I get too far down his body, I won't make that connection. I need to make sure that I pull my foot to his armpit, then my knee and ankle will touch. Okay? So it's a key thing to focus there that this knee wants to flare out just a little bit so that I'm off at an angle and I can get the connection. So we're going to be here. I'm going to go palm up back of the neck. Okay, I'm going to keep him down. My foot's going to go to the thigh. I'm going to start. I'm going to open him up nice and tight. Foot. Okay, my toes are in. And now I'm going to jam my knee into his shoulder hard. My heel's going to suck back hard into that armpit. Okay, so that I can get that connection with my knee and my ankle. Okay, and that's going to be our entry. We're just going to practice that over and over and over again. When we have our partner start, Okay, we're going to have them start hands open, head down, in nice and tight. There we go. That way I can't get my foot inside this hole, right? So if you can just take your foot and put it inside, have your partner tighten up a little bit. There we go. There we go. And now I can't get my foot in there. This is a good starting point for us, right? We're going to use technique to actually open them up when we're drilling. We're here. Fingers. Fingers. Foot, I put my heel on the floor, I open him, and I make that connection coming through the armpit, right? I'm not going to catch his lat, I'm going to catch his armpit, I'm going to feel my heel and knee together. And we're just going to repeat that process until we're comfortable.